Hello, everybody. Welcome to a special Friday night live stream. Uh, I've got uh, some interesting things to talk about tonight, and I've got a special guest. And uh, so without further ado, I'm going to bring on Jason from Jason's Lab. Jason, can you hear me? Can you hear me is the question. I can hear you. Okay, I'm going to change the ISO on my camera here because it's a little bit dark. Oh, wrong direction. Hey, there we go. Now we can see me. All right. <laughs> You've got a fancy camera with ISO settings? <laughs> um, I have an EOS R. Okay. It's fancy, yes. I bought it two years ago. Sorry. <laughs> well, I, I'm rocking the uh, Nexigo Iris webcam, but it's got HDMI out. So, yeah, and then you probably go through one of these things, right? Um, where's that little gizmo? Oh, this thing. Uh, no, actually, I've got a I've got a Black Magic ATEM Mini Pro. Oh, okay. Sitting here next to me. Okay, that makes sense. So, um, I've got uh, what do I have? I've got uh, my Ubuntu box. Mm -hmm. and I've got me and then I can share my screen here or I can bring my screen on full screen and uh, through through uh, StreamYard so um, I've got some flexibility all I see, right I saw uh, a super micro login screen yes <laughs> I think I know what that's for right uh yeah so 619 OTA says audio and video perfect for both of you. Thank you so much for for uh, verifying that for us. Uh, so uh, since I don't normally have other people on, Jason, do you want to introduce yourself and plug your channel for a minute? And I'll uh, copy your link into the chat here real quick. You want me to send you my link in the chat into the StreamYard chat? Uh, actually, I've got it in a document right here. Okay. And... Um, I'm Jason from Jason's Lab. Uh, I think I met Jeremy about a month ago, going back and forth with um, Tony from Quick Tech Solutions there, and we've been talking lots now back and forth. It sounds like we both have the same interests in computers. You're a little better at Linux than I am, and I can dabble through what I want to, but that's about it. <laughs> Other than that, I'm, a, I'm more of a hardware guy slash firewall kind of guy. All right. And how long have you been uh, rocking out on the on the YouTubes? One year and we're at, or I'm at, I should say. What am I at for one year? I'm at, let's see here, 742 as of today. All right. Congratulations on that. You're, you're yeah, doing, doing better than I was doing at a year. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did a whole bunch of videos and I was just slamming them out there and a lot of people were bumming onto it, right? So yeah. Well, and, and things have changed a lot in the in the since I started this this oh, little yes. game that I that we're playing. Yeah. Um, so, well, welcome to the stream, and uh, uh, let me see. I, I won't What's... be able to stay your whole hour. I'll just stay in for a good 20, 30 minutes because I think the wife's making me dinner right now. Okay. I'll well, for a bit and talk and chat and stuff like that, and try not to interrupt you. <laughs> bonus on that, uh, you, you know, home cooked dinners are always good. Yep. Um, you, you know, I, I'm a single dude, so so my my well, I had lunch and that was uh, leftover uh, Stouffer's enchiladas from last night. So ooh, enchiladas, <laughs> those are good. Um, and I've got a couple of slices of cold pizza in the refrigerator that I'll finish off tonight after the stream is over. Um, but, uh, I'm not going to be up terribly late because I've got to go and put in a full day's work tomorrow. <laughs> I just did a full week's worth of work, so I don't need to do any more work. <laughs> well, you know, relax. You've got a family, you know, and enjoy yeah. it and, you know, cut screen time down a little bit. <laughs> I'm usually at, they're watching shows I don't like to watch. They're downstairs watching TV on the IPTV and I'll be up here reading documents and trying experiments and doing sure. stuff in the lab to learn and stuff. So that's my time to learn. That's where I like to have my thing. Well, I, I will say if you do want to show, I, I don't know how, how old your little ones are, but uh, um, Netflix has Wednesday out now. 
Oh yeah. The entire season. And I, I binged it. I binged the whole thing last night. <laughs> I think they've been addicted to, um, Heartland. Okay. I haven't, that kind of stuff. I haven't watched that. It doesn't necessarily sound like something I'd be into. Nope. But <laughs> uh, anyways, let's uh, jump over here. Do you have I, it on I, in the same office as you? Uh, just it, it, the the uh, VMs aren't are the, the nodes aren't powered on. It's just the IPMI interface I've got coming oh, okay. through. Did you turn it on and see how quiet it was? Yes. I know, right? Um, so I wanted to to save that for for the stream and Good. and hope okay. that. Uh, um, oops. Hope that people would find this interesting. Uh, okay. There's caps lock. Okay. Welcome, Catherine. Uh, thank you for coming in. This uh, again, I, I I've started doing these a little uh, uh, w without a lot of advance warning for people. So I'm always impressed when when people actually show up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's Catherine's channel for anybody that sees this later. Uh, okay, so. Uh, I am going to switch over to the HTML5 version of this bad boy. And of course, it doesn't like Firefox, but that's all right. We'll, we'll work with it. Um, let's see if I can make this just a little bit bigger. That No, that's not going to resize. That's all right. <laughs> Okay, so virtual media. Uh, we are going to come into my downloads, and I've got a fresh ISO of Proxmox VE 7.3. And we're going to mount that bad boy. And this is actually my first time uh, doing it this way. So if, if you see me doing anything really stupid, Jason, please chime in and let me know. <laughs> Will do. Will do. I, I was just about to say, there's a video I did about doing this a couple weeks ago if you want to watch it. But no I, way. No, you keep I, going. You're good. <laughs> I think I saw that video, actually, which is why I don't feel too bad about doing this. Uh, so, uh, okay. So we got the ISO mounted, and now we need to turn the node on. And I heard it chirp. Yep. I think you have to push F12 to get into the um, boot menu when it comes up there. It's 11 or 12. I can't remember. But you got about five seconds before it goes away. Hello. Uh-oh. Okay. That'll work. I can't remember if it's F11 or 12. I go through so many computers every day that every one of them is different to get into the boot menu. Looks like it's trying to do pixie boot. No, 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 it's not. It's just doing oh. all its, it's just booting all, it's doing all its self checks and stuff like that. Oh, Let's okay. No. Okay. No. no. You're good still. Here it comes. Um, F11 to boot menu, so F11, that's what we want. Oh. Probably missed it. Nope. If you push F11 now, it should still come up. If not, we just give it a quick reboot. It's looking at that Emulex uh, 10 gig network card. All right, here's hoping. There it goes. Invoking boot menu. It's coming. Okay, good deal. Yeah, my old Super Micro, uh, the one you um, only has the Java interface for IPMI, so all I can use it for is to turn it on and off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
So now what you want to do is go to the very bottom one. I think it's called ATTEN virtual CD-ROM. Yep. There you go. Press enter. And then it should boot Proxmox your ISO. Woohoo. There you go. Welcome to Grub. Yep. Proxmox VE. And this is the latest 7.3 version. Now, I don't want to blow your horn or anything like that, but we can't hear it running because it's so quiet. This is true, and and my <laughs> my my uh, arm for my microphone doesn't stretch that far. Yeah, I had it running in the room right beside me here, and I could barely hear it compared to all my other servers that I had in the rack behind me. So yeah, it's an arm's length away. <laughs> yeah, it's quiet. <laughs> so <laughs> uh, I'm I'm uh, pretty happy. Uh, all right, we have, let's see, Catherine's asking about the gasket for the i9, and yes, it arrived today along with the server and the, um, the barcode scanner I've been waiting for to do a review on. So, um, probably about the middle of December, there will be a review on that. Uh, because I want to actually take it into work with me, uh, since my day job is being the tech guy at a library, um, I'm going to put it through its paces, scanning barcodes on books. That'd so, be fun. uh, I figure I'm going to give this thing a workout. <laughs> uh, Taro Cockrum, welcome. All right. Uh, so far, so good. So, yeah, I I thought about waiting to do this and, and just doing this on the Sunday live stream, but I thought, nah, <laughs> I'm too excited to have this thing set up. <laughs> I, I, I'm... I Every time I got up in the morning, I checked my phone. I'm like, is it there yet? Is it there yet? Well, that's the funny thing. It was still on my end. It was still showing um, uh, customs in LA. Yeah. And it, it didn't update. And then it switched one day. I was like, oh, okay, well. And, and then I got the email from you and it's like, oh, bonus. <laughs> <laughs> so... Uh, I, I definitely appreciate uh, being kept aware of that. And You got uh, the cables that were in the box I left there for you? Yep, yep. Okay. Both should be handy for you. Yeah, once I get a, once I get a, a switch to plug them into. Yeah. <laughs> so, but that's, that's on my to-buy list for 2023. I like my um, Microtech. Um, it's right there behind me in my rack. I could show you if you want to see it here. Hold on. See if I can unlock this thing without dropping my camera, hopefully. Where's the... I hope so. That'd be that'd be kind I don't of bad. I want to drop my camera, but I'll see here. I got the Microtech um, 10 gig switch there on the rack. Plus okay. the 2.5 gig switch. All right. The Microtech is uh, worth every penny if you can uh, afford the. I think they're about one ninety nine. Yeah, that sounds right. I, I've been looking at them, and I've been looking at the the Unify switches. They've got a an aggregation switch that's that's all SFP. Yeah, I've installed a couple of those for work. We got. I just actually did a big, huge HA setup at work that has uh, a lot of. Uh, 10 gig stuff in it we got two aggregated switches for ha so that way if one fails at least the path is still there right 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 <laughs> so this will probably run slow over the network i don't know if your laptop's on wi-fi or ethernet or not uh, i'm on ethernet but i'm also streaming while i'm doing this right so, so yeah 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 so it's a little bit slower to do this yeah if you so, put it in the thumb drive and you boot it off the thumb drive, this probably would have been installed already. But that's oh not, sure. That's, this I do everything via IPMI when I work on servers. I don't. I just pretend that I can't touch them with a keyboard or mouse, and then I figure everything out, right? Yep. Yeah. 
Well, that that other that other server was so old, I actually had to burn a, a CD, CD. <laughs> or, or a DVD to to boot the dog on thing. Yeah, I remember. Um, I just actually ordered another two fifty six gig USB stick to do another Ventoy stick. Nice. I, I do love Ventoy. I, I love it. Put it in the machine, drab an ISO, ISO to it, and just continue, right? Well, that, and they even have a, a, a ISO, a, a Ventoy ISO, where you can boot the computer off from the Ventoy ISO and then create USB sticks from that. Oh, okay. So you can do, uh, you know, two USB sticks of the same computer, one as the, the boot drive and one as the uh, uh, destination for uh ventoy so all right we've got our good old end user license agreement and yep i found the 32 gig so there's two drives and you know that i put two drives in there right yep yep Each node's got a 512 and then um a 32 gig sata dom right on so did you d use the sata dom for the Proxmox install? Yep. So the SATA DOM has the boot, and then the other drive was for like ISOs per uh, node, and then I had iSCSI targets for all the VMs and the uh, other stuff that I had on there. Nice. Yeah. I, I'll have to get some configuration going for iSCSI on the uh, on the Synology box I've got. Okay. Since that's got like hella huge storage <laughs> right now. So um all right so we'll just continue with that i'm gonna jump off because dinner's ready jeremy um i might come back okay a little bit here but I'll, I'll let you have this and then uh, if i get time i'll come jump back in here if i see you're still living all right sounds great have enjoy fun, your Dave. dinner thank you yep okay so let's see new york english we're all good there Let's see, can I just put myself in the corner on this? There we go. All right. Okay, so we are going to... All this PVE dash zero one. Um, put this on home lab dot local and IP address is two two seven. That's fine. All that looks good. And automatically reboot after successful installation. I'm going to turn that off so we can unmount the install disk first. And while that's doing its thing, let's take a look at um, chat. All right. Uh, Terrell says, we use about 50 handheld barcode scanners at my work. I'm surprised they last in the factory. Yeah, I imagine a factory is pretty rough on them. Um, uh, you can do the gasket replacement on Sunday. Um, considering that really takes two, uh, two hands to do that, um, I may or may not uh, attempt that. Uh, I've got to see if I can pull everything out of my case and get it prepped so I could actually bring it into the office to do that. Um, I'm not sure how great the camera angle is going to be, though. Uh, Bob Carpenter Toys, welcome, Bob. Those are devices you end up buying and tossing an optical disc. <laughs> yep. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, the faux optical media via USB and emulator didn't really realize it worked that way. Never had the need to play with Ventoy. Uh, yep. So uh, I was uh, before Ventoy. I was previously using a utility called Yumi. 
uh, which also allowed multiple ISOs to be put on a USB stick. Uh, so uh, that was um, my big hang up on that is that it didn't run on Linux. So um, Joe, welcome. I, I didn't expect to see you tonight. Uh, this was sort of an impromptu thing and I know you uh, watch that other channel on Friday nights, but uh, glad to see you, even if you're only here briefly. <laughs> um, uh, especially since it's a rubber factory. <laughs> um, Yumi and Rufus, I'm both familiar with. Yep. Uh, all right. So we are just waiting for this to copy. Uh, everything seems to be going pretty slick and, and easy so far. Um, glad to have everybody in here tonight. Um, Bob, do you have uh, do you have a YouTube channel? Do I need to look that up and, and throw a link in for you? I'm not sure if I've if I've ever encountered your channel, if you've got one, or if if I've seen a link for it before. But I, I know I see you in a, a lot of other people's live streams, so I thought I'd at least ask. So we're just hit fifty percent. Okay, you don't have one. All right. Just wanted to make sure I'm I'm giving everybody a shout out that uh, that is is doing this YouTube thing. So, um, yeah, uh, today was was kind of an exciting haul for 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 mail, uh, which my mail is not usually this exciting. But in in one day, I got the server, I got the barcode scanner, and the gasket for the the i nine system that's been sitting idle because of the the recall slash uh, replacement needing to be sent out. Um, and I didn't have a lot of hours on that and I didn't want to run it uh, too much considering that the problem with the gasket was that it was disintegrating. Um, so I figured if I just let it set, uh, it would be better than, you know, running it nonstop. Too busy hanging around with cool people on their cool channels. <laughs> well, I don't know how how uh, cool I am, but uh, uh, I, I am a collector of toys, and and uh, I've been doing this home lab thing since before everybody started calling it a home lab. Um, so, but. Uh, Well, thank you, Joe. I, I appreciate all the feedback that you and Tony and, and everybody gave me in that uh, uh, Sunday show. And, and, you know, the Wednesday thing was, again, it was sort of an impromptu thing. I turned off comments. I just, I, I was just, you know, I'm just going to push this and I'm going to get in and out quick uh, because I had to go to work that afternoon. So... <laughs> I had a reason for keeping it short and sweet and to the point, uh, as everybody uh, was saying. So, wife called my home lab a pile of wires and cables until she discovered the Plex server. <laughs> uh Maybe if I dig far enough under the wires and cables, maybe I'll, I'll find a wife, but it uh, hasn't happened so far. So, all right, this is actually moving a little bit faster, it seems like. We're up to 64%. So, one thing I wanted to uh, show off here or talk about just a little bit while we're waiting for files to copy, uh, is this uh, Proxmox helper scripts. 
And I found this in a, a another video. I swear I'd heard about it before, but I'd never actually used it. Um, but it's got post installation, uh, a post installation script uh, that will make sure you've got the correct repositories installed. It'll turn off the nag screen um, and, and a few other things. Uh, they've got a script for dark mode uh, and then they've got a post installation script for the uh, Proxmox backup server. Uh, but some of the other interesting things they've got on here is they've got an automated um, script to create an create a Lexi uh, container for Pi-hole or AdGuard Home. Some of these other ones, this stuff is just, it's pretty slick. So um, definitely something to check out if you are uh, using Proxmox and uh, might save you some time. So I wanted to throw that out there and get the link in the chat and not just have a <laughs> progress screen on, <laughs> on, on uh, uh, the stream for everybody. Uh, let's see. I'm on the treadmill at the gym. You made me laugh like a lunatic at my wife <laughs> under the cable comment. <laughs> Well, you know, I uh, I try to sense have a sense of humor about being a single guy that's that's uh, rapidly approaching fifty uh, in about thirteen months. But um, yeah, so once I make it big on YouTube, you know, ha ha, um, may, maybe things will happen for me. <laughs> yes, Bob's wife loves having the Plex Media server. All right. Well, Joe, ho hopefully the people around you at the gym didn't think you were a lunatic. Maybe ho hopefully it's just in your head, you know, you calling yourself that. But hey, it's all good. Uh <laughs> All right. So while we're waiting, do we have any any questions about uh, Proxmox or uh, anything like that, or a suggestion for what I should put on this server? Uh, I'm I'm uh, definitely open to any suggestions. Uh, let's see. Uh, you can remove the top of the chassis. It's only 15 screws. Uh, yeah, I, I've uh, got the screws out already. Um, so uh, in preparation for, for the, the gasket arriving, um, I think I've just got to uh, take the power button off and stick it through the little hole in the, the top. So then that is just the, the top of the case and the water cooler I'll pull out as all sort of one piece. Sorry, should have been my wife loves having a Plex server. <laughs> oh, that's all right. That's all right. Uh, as long as you, you hit the uh, uh, spousal approval factor on on the uh, on the tech stuff, it's it's all good. Or at least that's what married people tell me. Let's see. I think electric screwdrivers were invented because of PCs and their obsession with so many screws. Yeah, uh, I, I keep hoping I'll get a, an electric screwdriver for Christmas, but uh, I, I've been just rocking out with the the um, uh, the one kit from I Fix It. Uh, 
All right. Yep. Wife approval factor, spouse approval factor. Yep. <laughs> it's, it's all good. Uh, I, uh, again, I, I try to keep a sense of humor about these things. Uh, I guess in my case, I've just got to make my, myself happy and, and come up with a, uh, a reason to justify having all this extra excess stuff. Um, but, uh, it's so much fun. <laughs> and, you know, in the, in, in the cold winter months in Michigan, it, it, you know, you leave a server running and, and you can keep the, the room warmer by an extra couple degrees. So. Now, I've had the iFixit for, I don't know, three, four years now. Um, I actually had their smaller kit. I started with their smaller kit. Uh, and then I gave that to a former student of mine, um, who we've worked on a couple of side businesses together. And, uh, I wanted to, him to have a decent toolkit to work with. And so I bought the bigger one for myself and I passed it down and, or, or paid it forward or, or whatever. Um, you know, from, from a tech standpoint, I've, you know, I was his instructor, uh, when he was in school. And then I guess I've sort of become his mentor ever since. Um, so except I can only call it, I fix it like J two cents does in his ads. Uh, I'm not familiar with his ads, but now you've got me intrigued. <laughs> uh, my server really no screws. Everything is just flip levers. Yeah. Um, I, I've got the, the I nine system. I'm building that out in a tower case. Um, and at some point that will come into the office as well. Um, I'm going to have to get a bigger desk or table to work from because I'm, I'm starting to feel claustrophobic and I don't generally get claustrophobic, but I've got wires and network cables and power cables and everything all over the doggone place in here. I heated my house last year, mining Ethereum. I got paid to heat the house right on. Uh, so true. My server has server room has heat turned off and it's still over 70 in there. <laughs> yep. Um, so I had my, my one use server, um, actually running in the, the closet, in my bedroom, uh, the small closet, in my bedroom. And, uh, in the cold months last winter, I just left the door open and, it helped keep that room warm. Uh, I'm in one of those crazy uh, apartments that's got no ductwork through it. Uh, just a couple of apartment um, furnaces or heaters. Uh, well, it had to. Only one is actually running now. So any any little extra stuff I can do to, to keep the place warm without relying on an electric heater uh, is, is fine by me. So Northern Michigan here. All right. I haven't been to the Northern parts of Michigan in a number of years. I went to school in Mount Pleasant. Um, Okay, so now we've done the basic install. Um, probably won't let us unmount until we hit reboot. Please remove ISO, so we'll unmount that. And 
end, once this gets through its uh, self-check process and everything, we should end up into our fresh install Proxmox. Run a Dell R710 Dual Xeon. Mount Pleasant is about 60 miles from me. Okay. Very good. So we should, hopefully, in it done. And it should start booting Proxmox here momentarily. see what's happening there we go that's what I wanted to see all right so two two seven eight thousand six All right, accept risk and continue and we are at our initial Proxmox screen here. So from PVE01, we want to pop open a shell Drag that across the other screen for a moment. We'll come here to Proxmox Tools and do the post install. And we'll copy that. And then I'll bring over my terminal. Paste that in. All right. And so it starts out, do you want to start the PVE7 post install script? Yes, we do. Disable enterprise repository. Yes. Because I don't have a subscription. Add correct uh, PVE7 sources. Yes. Enable no subscription repository. Yes. Bonus. Uh, add beta and test repository. No, we don't want that. Disable subscription nag. Yes. Update Proxmox. Yes. Shouldn't be too many updates because it's a 7.3 ISO and everything should be mostly updated. Reboot the Proxmox VE7 now. Sure. So that'll take a few minutes to come back up and we will have hopefully uh, no nag screen. So let me log out and we'll bring the IPMI interface back up and watch that as it goes through so I will be doing the second uh, node in the server uh, off screen or off 
outside of the live stream. Um, whether I do that tonight or uh, tomorrow when I get home from work, I'm not entirely sure. Um, but uh, this has definitely, definitely been a, a fun little live stream to, to work through and um, make sure that this new server is working and that it arrived completely intact. So, so far so good. I am, I am very happy. So, let's see. I got my electric pressure cooker yesterday. Today I cooked Coco's rice and with veggies. Nice. Um, I, uh, this afternoon, I watched the uh, uh, a video over on Unky Joe's uh, channel, and he was making um, bean soup with ham and carrots and celery, and um, in, in a crock pot, and it looked really good. So, I, I may be uh, going to the grocery store and picking up some. Uh, veggies and things to um, go in the crock pot and make some soup on Sunday. King of cheap cooking. <laughs> that looked yummy. Yes, it did. I was, uh, I was uh, very interested in that. So, um, And Terrell has a pressure cooker and loves it. Right on. I never, uh, I've never used a pressure cooker, um, but uh, I have thought about getting an Instapot uh, type of thing. And it didn't take away the nag screen. So they probably changed something in 7.3 and the script needs to be updated to um, fix that. But um, that is all good. I'm just kind of curious how things are set up currently. So we can put VM disks. Um, Oh yeah. So what do we got here? 14 gigs and 12 gigs. So that's the 32 gig um, DOM. And so I've got to add in the the uh, other hard drive in this in this unit. Uh, so Proxmox can see it. Uh, and I'll probably disable the the LVM and just leave that space all for local and um, not have uh, disk images, uh, ISO images, and VM image uh, VM disks stored to that DOM unit. Um, so, but yeah, this will be a fun. Uh, project to continue working through um, and uh, hopefully uh, Tara watched Unky Joe as well bean soup looked very good so yeah I I agree I was I was uh, feeling like soup after seeing that <laughs> but I ended up eating leftover enchiladas for lunch today, so um, gotta gotta work through the the leftovers when you've got them, right? All right, well, so far so good. Um, so the uh, secondary node in this machine, I I could go through the same process. I'm not going to bore people and have them watch it twice. Uh, but I'll have some additional configuration done between now and the Sunday live stream, and I'll probably show off where the where the uh, um, 
configuration um, process has taken me on Sunday, uh, as well as looking at some some other things. Um, you may even get a sneak peek of that new barcode scanner I got my hands on today. Uh, I haven't even had it out of the box yet. So uh, there will be a complete video on that around the middle of the month. But uh, I'm going to uh, maybe even tomorrow take it into work and uh, use it for a day or two at the library. And uh, just see how well it works compared to the scanners we have uh, that are currently all wired scanners um, in the library so um, maybe we'll uh, we'll want to get one of these or something similar uh, for like inventory purposes and different things that not being tethered uh, uh, to the computer would be very handy for so all right, uh, we're about 46 minutes in. Are there any questions, comments, suggestions? Um, if you've got any uh, suggestions for channels I should be taking a look at. I know there's, there's a lot of tech YouTube channels out there. And... Um, uh, honestly, I can't watch them all, but um, you know it's it's always fun to discover somebody new and you know watch a couple of their videos and you know sometimes you have time to binge watch, sometimes you don't, but uh, yeah, it's it's all good. Let's see, all of ours are wireless with base stations on the PC. Yeah. I can absolutely see where the wireless ones are, are going to be very useful. Um, I'd actually bought a wireless uh, barcode scanner from the company that sent me this one to review, and they asked me not to review that one that I had purchased. So I've played with it a little bit here in my apartment, um, but uh, um, I may just... Donate, donate that to the library as an as an extra, um, and you know if it doesn't last long over there, then I'm not terribly worried about it. Uh, so only about five to ten percent of the 270 plus YouTube channels I watch are tech. Yeah, um, y you know I, I I don't know. I guess I'm one of those weird people that. Uh, views um watching other tech channels as doing market research uh, <laughs> or maybe that's just a, a justification in my head to 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 let me uh sit and watch those but um you know i always get ideas from from other channels and you know once in a while there there's a few that uh i learn something from but uh as far as other channels I watch, um, um, music reaction channels I tend to like, um, you know, watching young people uh, react to hearing classic rock uh, for the first time. Those are always kind of interesting, um, along with uh, there's a, a channel called The Petherix. Um, they're uh, in France. Um, they're, they're, uh, British people living in France that bought a chateau and a, um, an abandoned convent. Uh, and so they're doing, um, renovation work on the convent and it's, it's been quite interesting. Uh, so that's, that's something I look forward to. They, they do videos five days a week and, you know, it's, it's pretty interesting watching, um, watching the progress on that project. Um, so, uh, uh, like watching, 
uh, them and see how others do things. Yep. Um, absolutely. Uh, reaction videos to that tribe. Yeah, the, the guy with his monastery. Um, and his wife is French. Okay. I didn't know Gwendolyn was French. Um, um, and then Cecilia in Svalbard. All right. I'll have to check that one out. HVAC repairs. I have no idea why I'm obsessed with watching people do repairs. <laughs> well, hey, uh, we, we've all got to have a, a hobby, right? Oops. Uh, rain, rain main raise auto repair. Um, yeah, that's another one I'm not familiar with. I'm going to have to, to save all, save all the comments and, and go back through some of these. So, all right. Well, I don't want to keep everybody. We've been going on for, um, going on for about 51 minutes. Uh, I had, I'd sort of targeted this one as being an hour or less. And, um, you know, this, this has been fun getting this first node in this server, um, up and going, uh, just, just for the sake of argument, this is a, um, dual Xeon, um, well, it's a quad Xeon, two, two Xeon, uh, chips per node. Um, so I guess, uh, what if I do this? Um... So, we've got, I don't think I've got HTOP installed here. That's kind of a, oh wow, that is a lot faster than <laughs> my uh, old server. Uh, so, yeah. Um, 64 gigs per node, um, and uh, look at all those processor cores. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is going to be good fun. This is going to be good fun, and I'm uh, very much looking forward to building out some some servers on this, uh, virtual servers on this and, um, just putting it through its paces and, you know, seeing what we can, what we can do and what we can all learn together with this thing. So, all right. Um, thank you, Joe. I appreciate that. Um, doodly do <laughs> all right um i spent dinner across the floor with the ac repair this week with money shot oh my i've <laughs> uh, been a little different now that he has his own shop all right well on that note i want to thank everybody for coming out uh if you haven't done so already if you can give a like to the video uh, subscribe and, you know, potentially tell some, some friends, family members, or colleagues about the channel. Uh, I'm always looking to expand this out and to, um, you know, expand the community around the channel. So I've got some interesting plans for 2023. And as the month, as we go through the month of December, I will, start to reveal a few of those and uh uh yeah we've got some exciting things coming so uh thank you all for stopping in tonight i appreciate you all and uh i will see you in the next live stream and the next video have a good night everybody